Hi all, let's have a look at another amazing game of Leela Chess against Stockfish. This was in the TSET Cup final, just played yesterday, hot off, hot off the press, and uh, very, very important game. Uh, let's see, so it's a 30 minute with 5 second increment time control, E4 from Leela, and Stockfish plays the Korokon defense. The first few moves are the advanced variation of the Korokon, with bishop e2, Nigel Short's uh, innovation. It's been called uh, the short variation. Knight d7, white castles, knight e7, knight bd2, h6. And here is the end of the book. So uh, this position, this system, actually has been used by the likes of Caruana and even Kasparov uh, in the past. Uh, so we see here uh, knight b3 which seems to want to control the c5 square more, the dark squares in general. g5. In this position, bishop h7 has been played as in the game Kasparov against Vallejo Pons in Linares 2003. That game ended in a draw. Uh, so anyway, we see here g5, a4, rook c8, c3, Another alternative being played before at a very high level is a5 here. This was in the game Akopian versus Magami in Doha 2016. So that actually uh, ended in a win for White with a5. So c3 though was Leela's choice, bishop g7. And now not playing on the queen side, quite often this is used to try and grip uh, the dark squares more on the queen side, but in fact, Leela here chose h4, so hitting that g5, g4, the knight goes back. Now, by doing this, there's a lever here for f3 potentially to hit the pawn, but the pawn's immediately attacked, so that's actually weakening dark squares to try and protect it. So, h5, weakening the g5 square, and Leela actually makes use of this now with bishop g5 pinning the knight. Black tries to free the position immediately, not castling, actually by playing c5. And in fact now, we see knight takes c5, knight takes, d takes, which gives black two options it seems, rook takes and bishop takes e5. Black stockfish elects to take the center pawn. Uh, so here we see bishop b5 check, king f8. Bishop dropping back to d3, queen c7. Here, if rook takes c5, this can be punished with bishop takes f5, and then knight d3 forking the rook and bishop with a big advantage. So queen c7, and now bishop takes f5, knight takes. On e takes here, this looks structurally a dreadful thing to do, and in fact, after knight d3, Knight takes here. Uh, this is going to be very pleasant for white, indeed. Big advantage. So uh, knight takes f5, keeping the structure intact, knight d3. So stopping black, taking that pawn now, putting pressure on the bishop. The king goes to g7, inviting knight takes e5. But Leela keeps the pressure on with queen d2, king g8, a5, bishop g7. And now bishop f4. Queen c6, g3, so protecting the h4 pawn now. a6, rook fe1. It looks as though e5 is very important for white to keep control over. Rook e8, rook a3, as though there's an idea of rook b3 to b6. This could be useful for white. d4. This structural change is very interesting. It does. If we look at this structure, by dissolving D and C pawns, the D file could actually gain an importance later in the game. So at this, at this uh, juncture, it looks as though white, because of the threat of rook B3 to B6, is going to be putting uh, some real queen side pressure later. So D4 opens up the game a bit. On King H7, just an example, if D4 wasn't played, rook B3, and now here, c4, bishop e5, this scenario where rook b6 happens. Well, it's getting a big edge here. 
it's a very pleasant position indeed a lot of control there so d4 immediately here uh, bishop e5 f6 if black had played bishop takes this looks nasty after knight takes the queen going in here and actually there's an important tactic in this variation can you spot what white can play here if I give you five seconds okay white could play knight takes f7 hitting the queen and this is just very nice for white so uh, we see f6 bishop takes d4 e5 so not being tempted with knight takes d4 that would uh, fix white's pawns undouble the pawns protect c5 uh, so we have e5 but now knight b4 queen d7 and now queen e2 so pinning that pawn to the rook bishop f8 and now queen e4 rook h7 uh, we have now knight d5 threatening knight takes f6 white's pieces look quite impressively centralized here bishop e3 we have knight takes now instead of recapturing on e3 Lila throws in this check queen g6 check which promises to hit well it promises to win a pawn potentially so uh king h8 was played on rook g7 there's the tactic knight takes f6 and then queen takes h5 and then taking and that's a disaster for black lots of things are hanging there so uh we have king h8 knight takes e3 so with h5 loose and the d file under white's control with rook d1 this looks very comfortable indeed for white bishop takes c5 hitting the rook the rook goes back f5 on rook h7 trying to save the h pawn uh, that loses the f6 pawn and white just can just simplify with a big advantage so f5 we see rook ad1 queen takes h5 was also possible queen e6 and now taking on h5 king g8 now knight d5 bishop a7 was played tactically by the way on rook h7 there's knight f6 check so that rook would be hanging if queen takes and here well for example yeah so uh knight d5 bishop a7 c4 if we take stock here of this position it looks as though Lila has a very nice position here with that d file especially to try and control the d file of course is also a pawn up so there's an outside past pawn here to play with black's pawns are fairly fixed over here on the queen side we see bishop b8 check king h7 b4 rook e f8 now c5 uh, before it wasn't possible to play rook g7 the things like knight f6 so by controlling the f6 square now black is ready to kick the queen at least queen just goes to e3 we see e4 here on the aggressive looking f4 white can just play knight takes f4 using the pin so e4 this fixes black's pawns on light squares for the moment rook d4 preparing it seems to double rooks that is kicked knight f4 though hitting the queen in return the queen goes to c6 if bishop takes d4 this simplification is much better for white white controls the default is an extra pawn up and there's great targets here white's got a big advantage so queen c6 rook d2 preparing still to double rooks potentially knight e2 offering the exchange of queens uh doubling the rooks taking control of that d file infiltrating on d7 knight f4 now yeah white seems to be in big control here of the position uh queen d2 re-establishing d file control knight goes to g2 so it's going to be perched on e3 shortly hitting f5 even more uh queen e6 queen d4 rook e7 knight e3 so black's under real pressure here uh we see bishop e5 interfering with the attack on f5 on f4 this can lead to real trouble 
with check here and actually queen h8 is possible this is too dangerous for blacks king safety splat checkmate so uh, bishop e5 queen c4 king g7 and now b5 so trying to weaken blacks queenside pawns b7 a useful target king g7 on f4 here g takes nine to have five check is nasty winning an exchange so protecting the right winning an exchange uh, so king g6 and now forcing forcing a two to one pawn majority with the exchange of queens with queen b6 so this transition brutal transition to a very miserable looking end game scenario for stockfish uh, so great control from Lila so far the f5 pawn now hit and white is getting that pawn now so right now is two pawns up and we see now yeah this is very bad for black clearly uh, there was a threat here of bishop takes e3 that was addressed with king e2 black's super passive the outside h pawn is used marched up the board b7 is offered for a5 so two outside pass pawns now black's position is becoming extremely critical so rook b8 we see b7 now threatening rook d8 check and queening we see check and then check and then getting behind that pawn to stop this rook d8 check tactic uh, so for example if bishop takes e3 just rook d8 check and then queening so the rook goes behind the pawn tarish rule h7 though blacks overstretched rook b2 we see rook g8 uh, also it was possible just to queen here this is simply winning for white uh, so it's absolutely lost for black at this point bishop takes check wanting to queen with check and win for example b2 is one option uh, so here uh, yeah it's over really here check queening it's over rook b6 and both engines thought it was more than 10 uh, in advantage for white so black resigned stockfish was resigned here so yeah it was an interesting controlled game in the advanced Karakan. so a good advert for that variation actually so Nigel Short's Bishop e2 in action here in this very very high level engine game so maybe Nigel Short will be pleased with this uh, example game if you enjoyed this game video then please click on the top left box which should appear shortly become a member at chessworld.net play against other youtubers you can also test yourself on variations covered in this game and other game videos from the improved menu puzzle books option which has a link to the annotated game comments questions donations see the description like share subscribe with notification bell really appreciated thanks very much addendum puzzle book for this game so on the improved menu chess mold um, puzzle books you'll see this puzzle book here uh, so let's have a look this possession white to play for a clear advantage I mean it's taking and then forking knight d3 uh, here white to play for a clear advantage I think uh, knight d3 and actually was it taking here yeah I think white's just better here taking here I think I give up here what did I mention here rookie one okay and then b4 okay uh, so you get these numerous puzzles uh, so knight takes e5 from the game here uh, I think it was the check uh, there's a nice little finesse here we we mentioned with the queen a loose piece knight takes f7 as possible so that's a clear advantage for white there here uh, white to play for a clear edge here just takes the rook as that pin uh, here I think there's knight takes f6 check and then actually I think we can take on h5 and now queen takes nope knight takes even stronger yeah if queen takes then queen takes rook white to play here for a clear advantage just taking on f6 
and then taking the queens off. So yeah, there were some little variations mentioned, uh, small variations mentioned. I think here, uh, and then we just take the default. Oh, would that work? Maybe better. Uh, here, I think we can just. Oh, actually, I'm not sure what's it. The check. Get a hint. Knight d5. Uh, so you, you get the general gist. There's 17 uh, just from one to ten moves, little variations being tested. Here, actually, I can't resist this one. Is it knight f6? And then we can take one e8. So there were some little variations there behind the scenes showing that white's, white had a, quite a nice position throughout the game, quite controlled in that advanced variation. Uh, so yeah, you can check out this and other puzzle books from the improved menu at chessball.net. Uh, so there's also... Uh, some interesting uh, sacrifice and nice finish uh, selections quite large books available if you want to check out those as well okay thanks very much